outcry was inspired by my own experience um, as a woman in under the patriarchy being silenced. How's everybody doing? Good, I'm so glad you all wanted to be a part of this. So I started this project in 2018 when, you know, after Trump was elected. We're gonna try to own our power that we have and our emotions, things that are suppressed and silenced in our culture. Um, and we're gonna do it with the support of each other. Screaming is something that can save us, you know, and it has saved me. I was lucky enough to experience a space where um, I did feel supported and I did feel heard and I did feel witnessed and I wanted to recreate that space for others. But you don't have to look we'll do this directly. Until we shoot? Yeah. Okay. This is a hard thing to do. I get it. I'm asking you guys to do something that's um, stepping outside of your comfort zone for sure. Are you feeling ready? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three! Ah! Awesome, yes. So I'm going to show you what they look like. I felt great because any time I get to connect with women and also in a very safe, sacred space where you can, yes, yeah, let it out and scream, um, it's super powerful. So. Okay, awesome. Emily, right? Yes. Especially from um, what Whitney talked about in the very beginning when she shared her story about sexual assault, um, I experienced something pretty similar and I did not use my voice. And I regret it to this day. I wish I would have screamed. All right, one, two, three! Ah! Yes! Don't fucking touch me. I agree with you on that one. That's beautiful. Thank you very much. How you doing? You want a hug? <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> it was good, right? Yeah. yeah. I love the intimacy. I feel so comfortable here. It's great. <laughs> and so low. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. All right. One, two, three. No! Yes! <laughs> Unfortunately, this project is always timely and important. I just am still in disbelief that um, the Supreme Court has taken away our rights to the extent right. that they've taken Count. them away. One, two, three! <laughs> yes! <laughs> so thinking also about the connection to Berkeley and Outcry coming here, I think a lot about consciousness raising groups that feminists worked really hard to create. In the 70s, I feel like Outcry is an extension of that. The resulting photographs that are made of women screaming become a collective act of resistance. Just being able to listen to other people kind of makes me realize that, like, not to be complicit at all, and that if I could help in any way or just be a better listener and, like, to help better my friends and the women in my life. All right, one, two, three! <laughs> Awesome. You guys are fierce.